Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm the author of JitWatch, which is a tool for looking at the optimization decisions made by the Hotspot Java Virtual Machine when it ran your program. Tonight, I'd like to introduce a new feature, which is a report on uh, escape analysis that went on during the running of your program, uh, specifically what allocations which would have been um, allocated on the heap, so which objects would have been allocated on the heap but weren't uh, due to the escape analysis optimization. Um, by not allocating objects on the heap it means you don't have to clean them up later with the garbage collector so you can reduce um, GC pressure. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, a little example in the in the sandbox. So you start up JitWatch, open up the sandbox and here's the, uh, here's the little example, it's called inline elim alloc. Um, it's a self-contained program, there's a main method which um, creates uh, a, a one of these uh, classes um, and it runs a loop for 20,000 iterations calling um, the outer method. Now the outer method uh, simply calls the inner method and inside the inner method you can see we've got a couple of um, object allocations here. We've got uh, an allocation of an int array of length 2 and we've got the allocation of a java util random um, and both of those are allocating objects, they're using the, uh, the new keyword. So I'm now going to run this program. It'll take about um, 10 or 15 seconds to run. Uh, and what we're going to see is, um, because neither of those objects, the interray or the Java Util random, actually escape the inner method, uh, they're both candidates for escape analysis. They can both be not allocated on the heap. Okay, so the program's finished um, executing and uh, it automatically opens up part of JitWatch called the Try View. Uh, if you've not seen this before, then what you can see is we've got your, your source code, you've got your, your byte code, and we've actually got the uh, disassembled um, native code that the JIT compiler output. This is the, uh, the optimized um, code produced by the JIT compiler. Now, um, JitWatch does actually an annotate um, the, the byte code, and um, if you see a strike through on, um, on a new um, uh, bytecode, or it can be a new array, or a, um, um, a new array, multi new array, any of the bytecode instructions which are to do with allocating objects. If you see a strike through on that, that means that the hotspot JVM was able to eliminate that allocation. So hover over this one with the tooltip. Objects of type interray does not escape method. Heap allocation has been eliminated. And again, here, object of type java util random is not escape method, heap allocation has been eliminated. So we can see here that in the inner method um, the allocation on this line and the allocation on this line didn't happen on the heap, which is great because it means that there's no um, need for the garbage collector to clean those up later. What the new feature does um, is um, see there's a new button on the main window EA for escape analysis and that six in brackets means that six times the escape analysis escape analyzer was able to avoid heap allocation. So we'll open up this report um, and for every time it found um, escape analysis uh, work uh, it tells you the, the class in which uh, that happened, the, the method in which that happened, uh, which compilation. Now um, within the, uh, the, the JVM the JIT compilers can actually compile a method multiple times hopefully doing a better job each time. Uh, you can actually see which byte code offset the um, uh, the allocation referred to and you can see how the uh, escape and analyzer works. If, if you look at this top one here this is the inner method um, it's a, a C2 compilation using the server compiler at byte code offset 3 uh, an int array um, which was, uh, was was directly eliminated um, and we can see here at byte code offset 17 um, a Java Util random was directly uh, eliminated. What I'll do is I'll click on one of these byte codes and it automatically highlights, um, as we saw before, that uh, the, the byte code offset where the allocation was eliminated. It also shows you um, if, if the um, JVM was able to inline a child method into its parent, um, then the body of that method, if the code that was copied into the call site uh, contained um, object allocations which were also eliminated, then these are highlighted too. So what we can see here is um, we've got two different compilations, number three and number four on the outer method. Number three is an on-stack replacement with the server compiler, C2 at level four, and um, compilation number four 
is a, a, a straight um, C2 server compilation. And these are all at bytecode offset 18. So if I click on that, at uh, bytecode offset 18, we've got the invoke virtual. This is the call to the inner method. And um, you can see here it says in the tooltip, yes, inlined hot. Um, let's get that tooltip back for you. Heap allocation of type Java util random was eliminated due to inlining at this BCI. And again, um, heap allocation of type interray was eliminated due to inlining at this BCI. Okay, thanks. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and do a few more of these videos to highlight some more of JitWatch's features. Um, but um, please uh, check out the latest version from GitHub. Um, and um, let me know if you, um, if you find this a useful feature, if you've got any suggestions for, for any other features. Um, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will try and put some more JitWatch videos up. Thanks.